Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. All right, so this is gonna be an instructional video on how to install a hitch onto a 10th gen Honda Civic. This one behind me happens to be a 2018 hatchback. This also does work for the sedan as well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, and the first thing that you wanna do is jack up the rear of the vehicle. There's actually a jack point right here in the rear center of the car. I'm then going to install some jack stands on the two jack points on the sides just for stability. And then after that, we just need to remove this rear bumper and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, and while I have the car up and the bumper still on, I'm actually going to mark the very center of this bumper where I'm gonna make the small cutout. Uh, I'm gonna use the jack point here. There's actually a dot right in the center. So I'm gonna mark that right here. I'm just gonna go and score that line. All right, so starting on the upper portion of the bumper, there's gonna be two bolts here, and then you also want to loosen these two screws for the gel light, just to pivot them out of the way, and then allow you to better access the bumper and remove it. So let's go ahead and remove these four screws here. All right, and these two are a five millimeter Allen screw, so it's gonna do that as well. And then let's go ahead and remove these same four screws on the opposite side. All right, now under the car, there's gonna be one, two, three, and four of these little plastic push pins. Just go ahead and pop these out with a flathead screwdriver. All right, we got all four on this side. Let's go ahead and do the other side. All right, and then on the rear side of the wheel well, there's gonna be three Phillips head screws. Helps to have a tool just like this, just for the, uh, the low clearance here, especially. You can tell that somebody uh, stripped this screw a little bit, probably installing these mud guards, but this is gonna help you, especially in this area. You won't have to get it at an awkward angle. This one's gonna be able to fit in that space and then also give you enough leverage with that handle there. So it's gonna do that now. All right, and now that we have all the screws removed, there's some plastic clips here along this edge of the top edge of the bumper. On each side, you're just gonna have to pop them out and then this bumper will literally just pop right back. Go ahead and pull it straight out, and there you go, there's your bumper. Okay, so I can see where my center mark is, right there. And then the part of the hitch that protrudes outwards is about two and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and center it within that line, and I'll probably go maybe about another two and a half to three inches vertically out. All right, and now we can remove this metal bumper beam that's held with eight bolts, uh, 12 millimeter, four on top and four underneath. All right, and if you look at this area closely, you're gonna see that there's two lines here top and bottom, that's telling you what area to cut away from the bumper beam. Now, I didn't feel comfortable cutting away any material from the bumper, so what I'm gonna do is use a very small hammer and lightly tap that area in. Um, the plates of the hitch aren't very thick. They're maybe about a quarter of an inch thick, so I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but I'm gonna be in, on the safe side and just hammer that in a little bit, and hopefully I'm going to um, negate the need to cut away any material. All right, like I said, nothing very scientific about this. Now, this is actually upside down, so this is actually the top. This is the portion that they tell you to cut out. I'm just gonna hammer this in very gently with a very small hammer and uh, hopefully that's just gonna round it off just enough. I'm gonna cover it with a cloth just to protect the paint. Just gonna tap it a few times. And I'm gonna do the same for the other side. All right, and here is the outcome of my work. Now it's very, very subtle. It's almost not noticeable, but this section is actually pushed in ever so slightly. And that's just to make sure that this does not come in contact with the bumper. I did that on both sides, so we should be good to go. Now let's go ahead and start the install. All right, so I've got the hitch here. Really quickly, I wanted to show you the instructions that it came with. So basically it tells you uh, what to do. So basically you put this onto the car, then you put the bumper beam back on, and then you use the eight provided bolts and washers. Now on one side, there's actually teeth on the washer that goes towards the vehicle. 
and it goes on just like so. And then you want to tighten them to 20 foot pounds or 27 newton meters. Uh, that's just the proper torque that they recommend. So let's go ahead and throw this thing on and bolt it all together. Doing good, boys. Alright, now I'm going to torque each of these bolts to 20 foot pounds. Alright, and there is the finished product. Four bolts on that side and four bolts on that side. Everything went pretty smoothly. There's the hitch right there. And now let's go ahead and throw on the rear bumper. All right, and this is the moment of truth, people. I have my bumper just sitting on those little plastic hooks on the top. Wanted to check out how well my cut was on the bottom. Check this out. Bam, pinpoint precision, 100% accuracy, brother. All right, so like I said, this is about two and a half inches across. I gave myself maybe about a 16th of an inch on each side, a little bit of space there. And then from the very back edge, the very bottom lip here, I went three inches up. So if that's what you wanna do, there you go. There's no need to make a gigantic hole that I've seen a lot of people be doing. Literally like 2.6 inches across, three inches out. That's all you need, bam. Perfect, pinpoint precision, laser accuracy, brother. There you go. Alright guys, and that's how to install a hitch onto your Honda Civic 10th gen. Again, this is a 2018 Honda Civic hatchback. Now this process is exactly the same for all the models across the board for the hatchback and sedan, as long as you do not have the center mounted exhaust. So you know the Sport models, the SI models, and then the Type R. Not do this. And uh, yeah, overall, Reese, good to go. I mean, I've, I've heard really good things about this product, about the brand Reese itself. And um, yeah, I mean, in my opinion, this is gonna last a very, very long time. And this does have a max ton rating of 200 pounds, and it has a max gross trailer weight of 2,000 pounds. So that's what you can do with this hitch. Not a whole lot. Again, you're probably limited to two bikes, not three. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see any issues with this. Other than that, should be good to go for a long, long time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, comment as usual. Questions, comments, go down below, and I'll do my best to comment and uh, respond back to you guys as soon as we can. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.